40 times a year. 30 men weigh anchor for their dream of a lifetime. Port of call, the formidable Pacific. Out there in that sea of seas, these men push themselves to the limit in one of the great challenges of their lives. The vehicle of this unforgettable experience is the flagship of the San Diego fleet, the Qualifier 105. This floating fortress encounters albacore, yellowtail, wahoo, yellowfin tuna, black sea bass, and dolphin at various times of the year. Brace yourself, for in the next few minutes, your soul will be filled with the strain and the agony of the fight and the pride and the self-satisfaction of victory on the high seas. On these waters, there is a skipper who has accumulated vast honor and respect. The skipper, Captain Don Sanson. At the helm of the qualifier for the better part of a decade, Samson has incurred prestige on this mighty vessel. The skipper knows how to catch fish. As a result of his experience, there has never been an unsuccessful voyage on the 105. Sansom's Qualifier 105, designed specially for long-range fishing, is 105 feet in length with a 28-foot beam and is powered by three V16 GM diesels. Live baits carried in four large bait tanks, and your fish are stored in four enormous refrigerated holes. The latest in electronics for both safety and fish catching are included. Berthings provided in air-conditioned state rooms and excellent meals ranging from steak to seafood are prepared along with the appetizers and snacks. For comfort's sake, the Qualifier 105 is extremely wide and built low to the water. A smooth, nausea-free ride is virtually guaranteed. The outstanding crew contributes further to the Qualifier experience. All of them are seasoned veterans, licensed by the U.S. Coast Guard. Assistance is always available as your needs warrant. The Qualifier 105 offers excursions on a six-season basis. Spring, early summer, summer, fall, early winter, and winter. The spring exploits include two week-long trips to Socorro and Clarion for Wahoo and Yellowfin Tuna. Several six-day trips are also planned for that quick getaway. Six-day ports of call include Benitas Island or San Pablos of Guadalupe Island for albacore. Fishing conditions determine the exact destinations, however, the last couple of years have provided numerous spring trips for the bonus of hot, early albacore fishing. There's a great bargain here as it's possible to albacore fish the entire trip at spring prices. Yellowtail, Wahoo, Yellowfin Tuna, Grouper, and Dolphin highlight early summer treks. Historically, these months have witnessed the best times for huge black sea bass, some weighing an incredible 300 pounds. Fishing areas with regards to conditions are Cedros Island, Benitos Island, San Pablo, Hippolito Bank, Uncle Sam Bank, 23 Fathoms Bank, Fetus Bank, and the sometimes surprising Alejos Rocks. As the summer months roll around, albacore fishing takes center stage. As of late, albacore schools have been found further and further offshore, making two, three, and four day trips the only practical solution. Autumn trips proved to be some of the most productive. Yellowtail, dolphin, tuna, grouper, and black sea bass are caught in great quantities. Ports of call include those fished in early summer. The early winter is the time for 16-day extended excursions. San Benedicto, Socorro, Roca Partida, and Clarion Islands are challenged along with Hurricane Bank and Cabo San Lucas. Wahoo and Tuna are the most numerous species produced on these trips. Marlin, sailfish, rainbow runners, and grouper are also caught. At this point, we note that those on all 14, 15, and 16-day trips have the option to fly home from Cabo San Lucas. The winter months are a very special time aboard the qualifier. Ecology lovers treasure the eight-day cruises where birds, seas, whales, and islands are visited. Destinations include the Coronado, San Martin, Benitos, and Cedros Islands, and San Ignacio Lagoon. They are the aquatic show places of nature, a truly unforgettable experience. All voyages include U.S. customs papers, tourist cards, all bait, blankets, linens, fantastic meals, and stateroom accommodations. 
Impressive sunsets, sensational weather, great fellowship, and fond memories go without saying. If you choose not to bring your own tackle, provisions are made for the rental of such equipment. Everything needed for your particular trip is available. Onboard terminal tackle such as feathers, jigs, hooks, weights, and so on are available for a nominal fee. There are several services available to you upon your return to San Diego Harbor. Canning, smoking, filleting, and mounting can be provided on request. It's obvious that we believe that the Qualifier 105 is the best vacation value around. But how do the anglers themselves feel about the trip? I think probably if I could imagine in my mind a dream trip where I wanted to catch as many fish as I could get, this surpassed all of my expectations. I, I caught more fish than I expected to get. I got a bigger variety of fish. I was more pleased with this trip than I could have dreamed that I would have been before I came down. And I thought about it a lot before I came. I was treated just about like royalty on this boat. Everybody caters to you. The crew couldn't be better. You couldn't handpick a better crew if you knew them personally for years. The trip was excellent and there's no better crew than the qualifier. I fish it seven to eight times a year and I always fish this boat. The food is excellent and the crew can't be beat anywhere in the world. The, the captain, he knows how to catch fish. That's, it's the bottom line is he catches fish. If you don't have any vacation time coming up or any inclination to test the seas, then we caution you against watching this sample of the incredible gut-wrenching battles fought aboard the qualifier. So far, we've been baiting you to join us. After this segment, you'll be hooked. Watch that right there. I'll step right there. Go Thank you. 
Sometimes making bait can be as much fun as catching the fish back home, I'll tell you. More at a time. Of course we have automatic pilot and alarms for all of our engines if anything goes wrong. We know about it instantly, we don't have to sit there watching the gauges. It's just like somebody being in the engine room all the time. We get water in the bills, we know about it instantly. The water temperature gets too uh, warm on any engine, we know about it. We know which engine it is, or the oil pressure drops, we know what it is. And we're pretty backed up as far as safety goes, we have to do
turn real deep color. Stand still. Just a mean walker. Come on up. Stand still. Stop. Come on, baby, now. Oh, there. Good shot. Good shot. He was a dogger. Guy, look how I got him on the light tackle. That, that's fishing. Get him on the light stuff. Get him on the light stuff. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? No man. Uh, bait! Yeah, don't damage him too bad. <laughs> that kind of poop the old man, I tell you. surface the whole fight and when they're doing that all you do is actually picking up the slack of the line from as they're swimming around versus the fish will go down straight up and down and those fish you're, you're trying to lift up you know you're actually pulling them up so that's probably the tougher fight you know yellow fans but stay up on the surface like this one here you can actually pull them around and lead them around and they swim towards the boat and just picking up the slack you know that's Oh, 
Tremendous trophy fish I've taken on your line on this trip. Neither one of which I thought was possible. All the way from Alaska to the Baja, you land that monster like that. I could almost crawl in there myself. That's quite a creature, isn't it? Holy smokes. Jeez. It's pulled pretty hard. That gave you a good contest. Look at the size of that animal. Boy. I don't, I don't believe you can lift them. I don't believe I can either. Holy smoking. You could easily do it. Holy smokes. I wish the guys back at the plant could see this the way their line is performing. Oh, are you lifting your side? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> is that God, what a bit. What you getting on? We can lift him to call a heave a little bit more. Oh, oh, you can't even get him off the ground. What you, what you getting on? Big mackerel. Big, big
Don't put it off any longer. You know you want to go. You will never know how tough a fisherman you are until you meet this challenge. We'll be glad to send you a free brochure charting each trip and its necessary. For any literature regarding the trip, don't hesitate to write us at the Qualifier 105 in care of the Fisherman's Landing, 2838 Garrison Street, San Diego, California, 92106. Or call us at 619-222-3729 or 222-0391. Don't wait any longer. There's only a limited amount of space available on board. Come see if you're up to this awesome challenge. We dare you to navigate your dream on the Qualifier 105.